I'm going to try out MAMP for Windows. So I'm going to download that right now. So I've gone to MAMP.info and uh, in the top here, there's a download section then for Windows. So I'm going to just click Run. And I should be done in just a moment. I can just put on pause in the meantime. I have then downloaded the map and I will let it run here on the computer. So I'm installing it right now. Uh, I'm going to try installing it anyway. So basically just go next, next, and we'll just put into CMAMP, that's fine. Create a shortcut. Okay, that's, I guess that's probably okay. Shortcut, I don't need a desktop item for this. So next. Okay, install. Can I put it on pause again? So while this is downloading, I am then going to download and wordpress.org. Uh, I'm going to actually download the self-hosted WordPress package then. So I'm going to wordpress.org and download WordPress 4.0. Uh, yes, I want to download it, so just save. And that is done in just a moment. Okay, view downloads, and there it is. So I'm gonna just drag it to the desktop. I can't, can't do that. So I'll go to download location and should be right there zipped so I'll just try it to desktop okay so we have it right there and the map install should be done in a moment so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put I'm gonna rename WordPress to my first site name here on in Windows 8.1 so I'm just gonna call it first site This will be done in just a few moments. It will then be located in within CMAMP and inside of there it will be a htdocs folder. So right now I'm just kind of I'm used to using this on the Mac and it's the first time I'm dialing it down to the PC. So we'll see what it looks like in just a moment. Okay, so it needs an extra setup thing here. So I'll just do next here and all that. Install. And it looks like it's going fairly quick. Finished. And we'll see what else it needs. Okay. Microsoft Visual C++, so we'll just install that as well. Okay, so now it's done finishing setting up map. We'll just click finish and I am then going to go to and look for map. Uh, I'll just go into my this PC and I'm going to go to the C drive here it is and here's MAMP and here is htdocs this is then the root folder so I'm gonna then uh, 
I'm going to double click it and unzip it. Extract. Extract all. Uh, first site. Okay, that's fine. So it's extracting zip file then to a new folder here on the desktop. Okay, so we have WordPress in here then. Okay, I'm going to call this first site. First site and two, because it's mixed into other folder right now. I move that to desktop and I can throw it this way. Okay, so we got first site and all the files are then inside of here as they should be, like so. And I'm going to place them into HT Docs. Replace. The point is to uh, uh, unzip your WordPress folder, rename it, and then place it into HT Docs, like so. So I'm going to open up a net, uh, web browser, whatever it is. And I'm going to go to localhost. Or actually, before I do that, I am going to open up MAMP. MAMP should be in here, and there it is. And we'll just start it up. Start servers. Allow access, okay, that's what I want. Allow MySQL as well. Both of these are already started up. So you can see stop, it says start and not start. Both of these are green, that means it's working, it's starting. So I'm gonna open up a start page. And we'll go to map right here. I'm gonna move this part and press enter. And as you see right here, it comes to first site. So here you just choose the language and we'll just choose that. And here's the database name and stuff like that. And database name, we actually have to make a database in MAMP. So I'm just gonna bring up MAMP here and I'm gonna open up start page and we'll go to tools POP my admin. So here we're going to create a database. So click databases and database name. Uh, I'm just going to call this test and then create. Okay, test exists. So we'll just call this test two and create. So it says right here test two. Okay, so I'm going to go back into database name is now then test2. Username, what they usually do in MAMP is they call it root. And the same with password, they also use the name root. Localhost and t the table prefix is prefix in the database that they use. It's a good idea for security to change this to something else, but right now I'm just going to leave it as it is. So submit. And then we'll run the install. And I'm just going to exit this out. Site title. Uh, first site, that's what I'm going to call it, and username. So my name is then Joachim, so I can use that, and password, just a really simple one just for this exercise, tutorial, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, it's a very good idea to have something much stronger password than this. I put my email in there, dot com, and we'll leave this as it is, and install WordPress.
Okay, so I can just log right in. Joachim, one, two, three, four. Log in. Store it, no, let's skip that. And we should now be back, oh, and here it is. We're in our dashboard backend of WordPress. So we'll just take a look at the default front page for the theme 2014. So that's it for installing NAMP and WordPress in Windows.